हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डॉक्टर गजेंद्र पुरोहित एंड यू आर वॉचिंग अवर यूट्यूब चैनल वे आई अपलोड वीडियोज फॉर इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स एंड बी एस सी हियर आई एम टीचिंग अबाउट इन फाइनाइट सीरीज वेर आई एम एक्सप्लेनिंग वेन अ सीरीज विल बी कन्वर्जेंट एंड फॉर कन्वर्जेंस वी हैव ए लॉट ऑफ टेस्ट आई हैव एक्सप्लेन दो टेस्ट टू यू नाउ आई हैव स्टार्टेड द डिस्कशन ऑन ऑल्टरनेटिंग सीरीज वेर आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू दैट वॉट इज एन ऑल्टरनेटिंग सीरीज एंड वेन इट विल बी कन्वर्जेंट फॉर दैट वी हैव लैबनीज थियोरम एंड इट्स प्रूफ एंड हाउ कैन वी अप्लाई टू द ऑल्टरनेटिंग सीरीज सो वी कैन डिटरमाइन if that series is convergent or not so today in this lecture we will discuss about absolutely convergent that if we have any alternating series and if it is convergent and then if we take series of its positive terms which will also come as convergent then the series is absolutely convergent if the series of its positive terms does not come as convergent but the alternating series is convergent then we will call it as conditionally convergent so students in today's class we will be discussing about the absolutely convergence so let's see how we can determine whether the series is absolutely convergent or not first we will understand that what is the concept of this absolutely convergence if we are given any series of this type which is alternating and if we take its modulus and that is convergent and the series meaning if the alternating series itself is also convergent then these type of series are called absolutely convergent so students let's take an example look here on the screen if we have this series okay and we know that this is an alternating series and we also know that this series is convergent as well look earlier i have told you that we know from the labneys theorem that this un is 1 upon n it is decreasing and in limit n tends to infinity it will be zero right so by the labneys theorem this alternating series will be convergent if i take its modulus okay then we will get this and we know that it is divergent from the p series this one is convergent but the modulus that we took of this series we got it as divergent this means that as the result this series will not be convergent so this means the series will not be absolutely convergent now let's talk that if here we will have it as 1 upon n square right and here if we know that this is convergent because it is an alternating series by the labneys theorem it will be convergent now we will take the modulus and this minus 1 to the power of n minus 1 disappears giving us this by the p series this is also convergent so this one is convergent and this one is also convergent this means that this will be absolutely convergent so this is the concept of absolutely convergent now how do you do this in an exam i just gave you an example now check the another one let's say the question is to prove that series is absolutely convergent or not so if we are asked to prove that the series is absolutely convergent we don't need to check the convergence of the original series so what do we need to do first this series that we have n is equal to 0 to infinity i will take minus 1 as common so we have minus 1 to the power n this is 100 to the power n upon n factorial here this is an alternating series now we need to prove whether this series is absolutely convergent or not so what will we do here we will take the modulus of it right now if we take the modulus we will have n is equal to 0 to infinity so students what will it be 100 to the power n divided by n factorial now i will prove whether this is convergent or not so here the un that we have it will be equal to 100 to the power n divided by n factorial so here we will have the un now we will apply the delembert ratio test to it here we will get limit n tends to infinity and then un plus 1 upon un we have to find the value of this this will be limit n tends to infinity here this un plus 1 will be 100 to the power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 factorial and what will be the denominator it will be 100 to the power n upon n factorial right here we know that it will be limit n tends to infinity we have 100 to the power n plus 1 so i will write it as 100 into 100 to the power n and here we will write 100 to the power n we will take n factorial to numerator and this n plus 1 factorial can be written as n plus 1 into n factorial see here these term cancels out with these terms we will get limit n tends to infinity 100 upon n plus 1 and if we put n tends to infinity we will get 0 which is less than 1 and whenever we get a value which is less than 1 this series becomes convergent this means that the series is convergent so what will we get here it will be absolutely convergent so in this way we can easily prove it let's see another question when you are asked whether this series is absolutely convergent or not then you have to take modulus of this series if we take the modulus of this the series will become n is equals to 1 to infinity and here we will get cos n alpha upon n under root n if we can prove that this series is convergent then look here students 
this series will become absolutely convergent right now we will see if this series is convergent or not so what will we do we will take the modulus of un meaning cos n alpha upon n under root n the value of this will be equal to less than 1 upon n under root n right students now if we can prove that this series which we have here is convergent then by default the smaller one will be convergent by using the comparison test okay and we know that its value which we got is n to the power 3 by 2 and we know that it is greater than 1 so by p series test this is convergent this is also convergent means the series is convergent if this series is convergent then this series that we have it will be absolutely convergent therefore this way we can easily prove this here look we have a question given here that asks minus 1 to the power n n plus 2 upon 2 to the power n plus 5 into cos nx you are asked whether this series is absolutely convergent or not so first we will take the modulus of this series right so if we take the modulus the series here will be n is equals to 1 to infinity we will take n plus 2 upon 2 to the power n plus 5 into cos nx we will calculate its value whether this series is convergent or not so students what will we do mod un is equals to here it will be n plus 2 right upon 2 to the power n plus 5 okay into cos nx we will take modulus of it and we know that its value will be n plus 2 upon 2 to the power n plus 5 this here will be greater right the value which we got here this value will be greater than this one if we remove cos nx it will obviously be greater because the value of cos nx lies between minus 1 and 1 right now we will see if this is convergent or not if this is convergent then this will also be convergent meaning if this will be convergent then this will be absolutely convergent so here we will take this as un right it's better that we replace this un with an so the an that we are getting is n plus 2 upon 2 to the power n plus 5 now we will apply D'Alembert ratio test. So limit n tends to infinity. It will be a n plus 1 upon a n. So here it will be limit n tends to infinity. Here it will be n plus 1 plus 2 upon 2 to the power n plus 1 plus 5. In denominator it will be n plus 2 and in numerator it will be 2 to the power of n plus 5. Right? Now we will check this. It will be limit n tends to infinity. And here if we will take this n as common then after that we will get 1 plus 1 upon n plus 2 upon n and from here if we take 2 to the power n as common so here we will get 1 plus 5 upon 2 to the power n similarly let's consider this if i am taking 2 to the power n as common so it will be 2 plus 5 upon 2 to the power n right and students if we take n common from here so we will get 1 plus 2 upon n clear actually we need to understand this little bit more carefully okay here we are getting this value right now at n tends to infinity we know that this and this will be 0, this will be 0 as well, this and this here will also be 0. These 2 to the power n and these n will be cancelled. So from here the value that we will get of limit n tends to infinity will be this. Let me make a small change here. So students in numerator we are left with this 1 and this 1 and in denominator we have this 2 and 1. So here we will get 1 by 2 since this 1 by 2 is less than 1 and less than 1 means this is convergent. If this series is convergent then by the comparison test this series will also be convergent then this series will also be convergent and eventually this series will become absolutely convergent. Therefore, we can prove this very easily here. Here is a similar question. We need to prove whether this series is absolutely convergent or not. So, firstly, we will take its modulus. If we take its modulus, then its value will be limit n is equals to 1 to infinity under root n plus 1 minus under root n minus 1 upon n. Now, what will we do here? We will rationalize this, okay? And when we will rationalize this, we will get n plus 1 and plus under root n minus 1 and here we will get upon under root n plus 1 plus under root n minus 1. We know that a minus b into a plus b. Okay, so students here we will have a square minus b square and here we will get n plus 1 minus n minus 1 and students here it will be upon n into under root n plus 1 plus under root n minus 1, right? Now look here, what will it be? n and n will cancel each other here, 1 and 1 will be 2. So the limit 1 to infinity here it will be 2. And if we do it from here, then in denominator, we will get n under root of n plus 1 and plus under root n minus 1. Now in this, we will use the comparison test. So this un that we have here, students, if you look here, then the un that we are getting is 2 divided by n multiplied by under root n plus 1 and plus under root n minus 1. So students, here we have vn. What did I do here? I choose vn and what is the way? So that I can choose vn. Look here. We will remove the constant. So we have square root of n and we also have n. Therefore, square root of n and n will become n to the power of 3 by 2. So what will we do now? We will find the value of limit n tends to infinity, un divided by vn, right? 
in the comparison test we will find the value of this and see if the value is finite then the behavior of both of these will be similar right so we will do the same thing if we take un upon vn limit and tends to infinity okay so students what will be the un that we will have here look it will be 2 upon n so from here the value that we will get it will be square root of n plus 1 plus square root of n minus 1 right and here we will have upon vn so it will be reversed and n to the power 3 by 2 will be moved to the numerator now we know that we are applying limit and tends to infinity so this will be 2 into n to the power 3 by 2 so here i will take the root n as common then we will get n to the power 3 by 2 and here we will get under root 1 plus 1 by n plus under root 1 minus 1 by n when you put n tends to infinity this will cancel out with this here this and this will become zero now if we will check here then the value which we will get of this will be 2 upon 2 which is equal to 1 this means that it is a finite value and whenever we are getting a finite value the behavior of these two is similar we know that by the p series test vn is convergent this means that un is also convergent which means that this is also convergent and it means that this is also convergent and if this is convergent then this what we have here will be absolutely convergent so students this question is for the comments how many seconds it took you to solve it please tell me in comments you can check more videos on infinite series 2.0 here if you are preparing for csir net gate or iit jam exams and want to improve your short tricks then you can find the playlist here and here you can subscribe to this channel thank you so much everyone bye bye